What's going on everybody? Central Park Joe here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are going to be talking about some hydration tips that I find useful in this oppressive heat and humidity. I'm going to talk a little bit about some nutritional updates that I've been making. Thanks to all of you guys and all of your comments that I read and that I put into practice. And also something else that's pretty interesting but also related. I've been getting a lot of questions about my skincare routine. So I'm going to bring you up to date on that too. But without further ado, first and foremost, thank you guys so much for, for the likes, for the subscriptions, for all the comments, for everything. Um, I was going to make this video when I hit 5,000 subscribers. I was going to do it when I hit six. When I hit seven, I'm up to 8,600 of you beautiful and amazing human beings that are on this journey with me. And when I say on the journey with me, I truly mean that because I've been putting a lot of your suggestions and comments into practice. So once again, we're all in this together. So thank you so much for, for everything. And hey, if you're new here, yeah, can please consider subscribing or, and following along to all this good stuff here. So without further ado, it is hot, it is humid, it is oppressive. In most of the country, most of the world really, England, France, um, so it's very important to stay hydrated, especially if you're an outdoors person like myself. I conduct all my workouts outside in all conditions, so hydration is very important. And that's year round, but especially when it's this hot and humid. Um, so one of the things that I am prone to is cramping. So I get muscle cramps sometimes in the middle of the night. So I've been thinking a lot about how to combat those cramps and, uh, and how to do it with more like natural-ish products. So, and I've come up with two things, actually, thanks to Mrs. Central Park, because she found this great product here. This is pickle juice, everybody. This is, uh, the brand is, is a funny brand, but uh, we order it through Amazon. You could tell we need to order more. So, one of the things that I noticed is that when I drink pickle juice, and I love the way pickle juice tastes, mixed with a little water, the cramps are, are, are put at bay. They're, they're, the cramps really kind of disappear, which is excellent. So what I also do is I'll buy these pickles here. These are from Trader Joe's. These are the organic uh, dill pickles. Uh, so I'll eat these throughout uh, the day, especially if I'm gonna be training more than, more than once in a day. And uh, then there's some juice in here that I'll drink as well. Yeah, so pickle juice is really, it's easy, it's economical. Uh, it's if you're worried about calories or any of that there's really no calories in it in fact there's i don't think there's any according to this there's zero zero calories a little bit of sodium which is helping to mitigate the cramps but uh so that's what i've been drinking i've been adding it to my water i'm probably drinking about 60 ounces of water with pickle juice and then probably about another 40 ounces of just plain water um and so my uh my my cramps have uh have gone away um, something else that I really like, I like mustard, and look what I found. This is dill pickle mustard. So once again, same idea, zero calories, a little bit of sodium, which is good, uh, especially because we're sweating a lot this time of the year. So what I do is, ooh, take this here, take my spoon, squeeze some onto the spoon like this. This is how I like doing it, right? Hmm. Yum! So that's some dill pickle, pickle mustard. So those are my two top tips to help keep the cramps away, help you with your hydration if you want to do it naturally uh, or as natural or as close to natural as we can do it. Um, I actually got the idea for the mustard when I was watching, I was watching some highlights of, uh, I can't remember if it was a Stanley Cup hockey game or if it was one of the uh, Olympic hockey games and a lot of the players along the bench were eating mustard um, again for hydration and to help mitigate cramps and things like that during the game and that brings me to a very interesting uh, very interesting saying that I repeat all the time which is don't listen to people as much as watch what the best in the world are doing so if I see high-level hockey players eating mustard then I'll look into it and do some research on as to why. If I see football players on the sideline drinking pickle juice in the heat and humidity of practices at this time of the year, I'm gonna be like, hey, wait a minute, there could be something to that. And um, 
Well, again, speaking of, of nutrition and listening to all you guys, um, thank you so much for all your comments on all the nutrition videos I've made. Uh, some changes that I've made. First and foremost, I have cut out tuna, salmon, and sardines out of the can. Uh, I think it's, it's, you know, I can't remember who commented something about mercury in the tuna. I just thought it was probably a good idea to cut those highly processed canned foods out of my diet. Uh, I replaced the protein uh, that I was getting through those canned uh, fishes with hard boiled eggs. I love eggs. So what I'll do is I'll make some hard boiled eggs. I'll snack on those. Uh, actually, sometimes I'll get some egg whites that I buy. At, uh, at the supermarket and I'll cook some of those and then I'll mix in some some eggs and uh, so that's been working for me and I like the idea that they're not processed they're, or minimally processed who knows like the only way we could be assured that they're not processed is if we have our own chickens which would be great but a little bit impractical for me here in New York City so cut out all the canned uh, fish and meats uh, second thing I've done is I've added some arugula into my diet. I know a lot of you guys have been saying that I was more or less devoid of greens. Uh, I don't do well with a lot of greens, but arugula is a green that I can eat on a regular basis with very minimal stomach upset. So um, I have been adding some greens in, so thank you again to all you guys who recommended that I add more greens in. I'm still doing my carrots. Um, so I've got hard boiled eggs, I've got greens, um, and uh, I've been feeling really, really good. So really trying to, to minimize any of the, the processed foods. Um, for instance, tonight's dinner is gonna be uh, some ground hamburger, which I'll have plain. I, actually, I'll put some mustard on top with the arugula um, and I'll mix that together. So it's one of my favorites and it's one of Mrs. Central Park's favorites too. So, you know, again, it's a, it's a nice way to, to eat. Third, um, I know a lot of you guys have been concerned with the amount of fruit I've been eating, so I've cut way back on the fruit. I'm still eating apples, I'm still eating bananas, I'm still eating watermelon, which is great this time of the year, and cherries are really good, but not nearly in the quantities that I was eating before. So I've been, again, it's, it's, you know, it's more water, it's trying to up my protein from non-processed sources or minimally processed sources, and uh, I've been feeling good. So again, thank you all for, for your suggestions. Um, even added in some sweet potatoes as well, which um, it's kind of hard to, to boil them in this weather because it's so darn hot. But uh, yeah, I just, um, I've been feeling great. So thank you so much again to all you guys who've suggested um, and commented that uh, I make these adjustments in my diet. Uh, and so now let's talk a little bit about my skincare routine. Okay, so I, <laughs> I really don't have much of a skincare routine actually because what I believe is that good skin, good health, vitality, and all of the things that go with it are manifestations of what we're putting in our bodies. So for instance, if you're eating clean, as clean as you can, if you're exercising, if you're hydrated, and very important, if you're getting sleep, it's gonna manifest itself. It's gonna show in, in skin. Your skin's gonna be healthy. You're gonna feel good. You're gonna be vital and you're gonna be healthy and you're gonna be alive and, and, and full of energy. By the time you get to a point where you look in the mirror and say, oh man, I really need to get some, you know, the creams and lotions and potions and things that you're gonna put onto your skin to help make it look better. Um, you know, in my estimation, it's a little bit too late. The good news is a lot of those um, things can be reversed by adding in more water, by adding in proper nutrition and exercise, and very important to try and get some uninterrupted sleep. Uh, so I really use hardly any, I don't really wash my face with soap or anything. I, I don't even use shaving cream when I shave anymore. I shave in the shower. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's steamy and the, you know, there's some water that, that helps, uh, you know, with, with me not cutting myself or friction or whatever. Uh, I just use regular soap on my body, um, nothing special. And uh, for my hair, I just use uh, occasionally some, some shampoo. Uh, this time of the year, it's tough with 
if you're gonna put something like hair gel in your hair because again, you're working out outside like I do, it's hot, it's humid, you start perspiring and then whatever hair, hair gel gets in your eyes and it kind of stings. So, um, so yeah, my skincare is, is really, if, if people think that my skin looks pretty good, it's because I, um, I take care of what goes into my body and that shows in, in terms of uh, how my skin looks and, and really how I feel and how I act, which is, uh, you know, just a blessing really. So once again, thank you all so much for everything. I just really wanted to update you guys with the, um, with the nutrition, with my hydration tips, which, uh, you know, may be a little bit unusual, but they seem to be working. So, you know, again, give it a shot. Uh, I realize that this is a lot of information and hey, like Bruce Lee said, keep what's useful to you and discard what's not. And so that's kind of like what I've been doing lately. I've been paying a lot of close attention to how I've been feeling and, uh, you know, just making these adjustments. I, I feel even better. So I'll be back very shortly with a training update. I'm still going strong with the weighted calisthenics four days a week. Uh, and then my conditioning has changed a little bit. I've been doing um, some interesting conditioning circuits that I've come up with, but that's for another video. So once again, thank you so much for everything, you guys. Love all of you guys. Keep the comments coming. I will be reading them uh, in earnest and trying to learn as much from you guys as I hope that you guys can learn from me because we are all in this together. So yeah, don't forget, if you find all this stuff useful, consider subscribing. Consider liking, consider sharing this video around. Hey, who's this 60 year old guy or almost 60 year old guy out there with all this good information? It's Central Park Joe. So thank you so much for everything, guys. I will see you in the next video. Love you all. Thank you.